While presenting online have become the norm, we all know that giving online presentations is overwhelming. It's a bit complicated. You have a lot of windows to manage. You have the conference call software. You have your presentation. You have this big slideshow that covers entirely one of your screens. And yes, I'm talking about screens because most of us believe that the solution is using multiple screens so that on one screen you can use your presenter view, you can manage the situation, and then on the other screen you can eventually project your slide show. Today I want to share with you a quick simple trick that will allow you to manage an online presentation super effectively, comfortably handling all the windows with just one screen. Let me show you how to do that. Imagine you want to present this PowerPoint presentation. What you do is you set it full screen and now you have the slideshow, right? The slideshow covers your entire screen and it is not very comfortable to manage your presentation this way. Now, of course, you need to go and share it. So you might go here, you might want to share your screen or eventually you might want to share your, your slideshow. But both ways, whatever you're sharing, and now I'm sharing the slideshow, you see, you don't have full control of the situation. So let me stop presenting and let me go back to show you how you can do that in a, in a much smarter way. Instead of just sharing the screen, use the shortcut Alt plus Shift plus F5. As you can see, I triggered the presentation view mode. Now, if I detach this from the full screen, you will see that I have the slideshow behind and the presenter view on top of it. Now, I want to make sure that all I have in my screen is the presenter view. So I go Windows right and the conference call software, in this case, Microsoft Teams. Now, this is the way I would like my screen to be organized so that I can move to the next slide and I can keep answering the chat or eventually see my audience. However, the moment in which you move on to the next slide, this is what happens. The presenter view stays on top compared to the slideshow. However, Teams goes behind. So what we have to do is the following. We share the slideshow in Microsoft Teams, which is this one. Make sure you share the slideshow and not the screen. Now I go Windows tab and I send the slideshow to desktop number two because I basically don't need the slideshow. But I need to make sure that I share it before I send it to the other desktop. Now I can use Microsoft Teams and I can move back and forth into my presentation while the full slideshow is being shared with my participants. Okay, let me take this window in which I will show you what the participants are seeing. So I joined the Teams call through the browser with an incognito window. And this is what they see. So basically, I have my teams here. This is the audience view and this is my presentation view. So you see, I can move on into my slides and this is what my audience is going to see. They will see the full slideshow while I'm going to have the presentation under control. I can even move from one slide to the other and uh, my audience will directly see the slide to which I jumped in. So wrapping up, we have seen how to handle a presentation online with one single monitor, just splitting the screen into two parts, one for the conference call software and one for the presenter view of PowerPoint, and using a second virtual desktop to project the slideshow so that it doesn't bother you on your main screen. At the same time, your audience will just see the slideshow, which is the only thing they need to see apart from your video, of course. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and I wish you all the best for your next coming important presentation.